questions and answers now with six minutes for each part, each group. So that's six minutes for questions and answers. Yeah. Questions and answers. I'm sharing my time then with um, uh, Deputy Smith. Uh, so the Taunus has said that uh, two rounds of negotiations have taken place so far. A third round is taking place um, uh, next week and a final round in June. And certainly the indications are not very positive at this stage. And also there's no indication that an extension will be sought uh, uh, by the UK. However, Jonathan, you did report some progress, I think, on the protocol on, North, on, on Ireland, uh, you know, that some progress has been made in that regard, and that's good to hear. But just in relation to the proposed uh, EU office, uh, we know what uh, uh, Minister Michael Gove has said in, in, in that regard. Um, I, I, you know, um, it's obviously become an issue. Um, I, I, I wonder, uh, uh, you know, what can be done about that? Um, Michal Martin said in the Dáil yesterday, uh, my party leader, that he doesn't detect any objection to such an office uh, in Northern Ireland itself. Uh, so I do think it's very important that you would be very strong on that issue. I know it's not a major issue in the overall scheme of things, but it's certainly a symbolic one. Uh, and I think it would be very important that we would have that EU office in order to, to monitor the situation, uh, to monitor the situation uh, in, 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 in Larne, in Belfast and, and Customs and, and so on. So I'd, I'd just be interested uh, to hear more information about that. And just uh, secondly, um, you said we need to prepare for all uh, outcomes and we certainly need to prepare for uh, a no uh, deal uh, uh, trade agreement. Uh, uh, and you know that that's coming down the tracks. It's, it's a possibility. It will have major implications for our agri-food sector, for manufacturing, for tourism, for SMEs uh, generally. Um, so I'm just uh, wondering what government structure is in place uh, to uh, bring supports uh, uh, to these businesses. Uh, obviously, that was in place uh, before the COVID-19, but now we have COVID-19 as well. And again, these same, uh, these same sectors, SMEs generally, uh, will need support, will need a lot of support uh, to survive uh, uh, the, you know, this economic uh, tsunami. So I'm just wondering, apart from the Cabinet, uh, are there structures in place, uh, uh, Cabinet subcommittees, whatever, uh, to ensure that fair consideration and positive consideration is given uh, to bring these supports uh, to the various sectors, which will be badly needed? I there's actually some really good questions there, so I'll try and answer them as directly as I can. First of all, the prospects for the next round of negotiations. I mean, on the evidence so far, not good, I would say. Um, but I think we have to hope that now that uh, the Prime Minister is back healthy again and making decisions, uh, that hopefully he can instruct his negotiating team through David Frost uh, to, uh, to ensure that the negotiation round that starts next week uh, is more successful. Uh, than previous ones have been. I mean, the approach of the UK side and the EU side are totally different here. That's what we have to, you know, take into account. The EU is consistent with what we have been saying for months and consistent with, with what was said in the political declaration around the future relationship, which was supposed to set the, the scene for this negotiation. They said that we need a comprehensive agreement that involves multiple different areas uh, that are all interconnected from level playing field to fishing to market access, uh, to ensuring tariff-free tariff -free and quota-free trade, uh, and, that, you know, and a whole range of other things. Uh, the UK have decided to take a different approach, to break it up into different segments and negotiate them separately, uh, picking the ones that are most important to them for now. The EU cannot do a deal on that basis. They cannot. The negotiating team don't have the mandate to do that, to negotiate on that basis. And the UK know that. Um, so I hope that the approach will be somewhat different uh, next week so, so that we can take a more pragmatic approach towards trying to make progress uh, and at least by the time we get to the end of June uh, be able to make a, uh, uh, an assessment that has a prospect uh, of, of success uh, in the second half of the year because at the moment that looks very different. I'm going to have to stop. Yeah.